dedicated to my grandma who passed away last November. Silence. Those few moments before I felt my life shattering into tiny sharp pieces exiting my body and leaving my heart aching with pain. Just like that, you were gone. And with everything I had in me, I wanted you back. Your heart failure made its way through your body, draining every ounce of energy you had left. Day by day, taking a toll on you, but that surely didn't stop you. You faithfully prayed and read the Bible up until the point where you could no longer. Seeing you struggling like that after being so strong and independent for years tore me up inside. Saying goodbye to you was one of the hardest things I have done. Oh, Abuelita, how I missed your warm touch. I miss the way you would hold me when I was little, and how we would lay on the beach and soak up all the sun. I miss the way you would always encourage me to do my best. I miss the Jamaican food you would spoil me with. And above all, I miss seeing your love for Jesus and eagerness to show his love to others. I wasn't ready to say goodbye. I'm not ready to just forget. I still fall asleep thinking about you. The memories come rushing back to me, filling my mind and making me miss you even more. Up until now, I haven't realized that you were really gone. I still feel your warmth on a sunny day. I still smell your sweet aroma when I smell the flowers. I still hear your voice through the words of other people. I'm reminded of you everywhere. Even though we won't get to make new memories, you won't see me graduate or get married and I know I won't get a birthday card from you when I turn 20 tomorrow. And I know I'll ache for your tender kisses when this world makes me feel all alone. It won't matter because you have already given me the greatest gifts of all. You gave me words of wisdom to never give up on my dreams, to keep God in the center of all my plans, letting him lead and guide, and to pray continuously. The knowledge you have instilled in me will remain. You gave me kindness and taught me how to put others before myself. I will remember how you poured yourself out for those in need. Most of all, you taught me to love the Lord. I will remember your faithful service to God and to your final breath. I know you are resting in him. How great is our God that he promises we would see our loved ones again. I know that one day I will be able to see your beautiful, happy face. I know that no matter what, no matter how much it hurts now, the joy of being with you will come soon. Just as you have so peacefully lived, touching the lives around you, now you peacefully sleep with a smile content on your withered face. I may be saying goodbye, but I know that goodbye won't be forever. Those we hold the closest never leave us. They live on in the kindness they've shared and the love they have brought into our lives. Goodbye, Grandma. I'll see you soon. I love you.